Yo, what is good, my everybody? What is good? <sighs> Julian Tyson. It's not this show because you get to chase and Man, uh, I honestly don't know where this show can go wrong besides ending um, in these next couple of episodes. That's my only problem is that the season is literally coming to an end sooner than later. And I rather it continue going. Give us a black clover type of thing where we just get a whole bunch of episodes and then stop at a random point. But at last, this is why the season party looks so good. It's because these people that are working their hardest are probably going to get a break. Um, well deserved break after this. And I'm not sure how long it might be until we get this. It might be sooner than later, but if Demon Slayer is anything to tell you that things have already shifted in their studio, you know, like, they are the same animators, I'm pretty sure, so people are probably working on that just as hard as they're working on this, and they're going to need a break, plus they're going to have to start up the next season if these are the same people working uh, in-house, because we know they're working on Attack on Titan as well, that's just the, that's just how things are in this industry, where you have some people that are just godlike at their work, and they put every single ounce of effort into it, and um, schedule time to make sure it comes out looking perfect, and then other times you get stuff that just isn't nearly as important, or can't be Feels like there's just some things you can't duplicate and replicate perfectly, but nonetheless, the show has to go on and money has to be made type of deal. So, I honestly think what's going to happen to these characters is pretty deadly. Not only did they just send a special grade that's been hibernating for however long to this place, where it already has a pretty much incomplete domain, so it's about half of a special grade already um that's not to say it can't get any stronger right like by meeting up with people and fighting these curse seem to get stronger if they find themselves a enjoying the battle b in danger or c all of the above <laughs> so it's kind of a threat to know that they're going to just be fighting more and more powerful things here and that they're not all going to be together, that they're going to be separated for the most part, uh, with one of our characters already stopping and trying to take on a fight by himself now. So, all that being said, I'm really interested in seeing what the season finale is really going to be looking like, because this is one hell of a way to start off the next thing. Like, we literally just get a case... They explain what's going on, what's happening, and then now all of a sudden we're about to be in the battles for another one, like two, two episodes straight. Um, this is the type of stuff I look forward to when it comes to these anime. It's because they seemingly have no stopping point, and once it picks up and once it keeps rolling, some of the most amazing things come out of it, so... I honestly expect nothing but the best, and um, what I'm trying to see is the reason the vessel wants to fight uh, one of the main characters, right? I want to see why he's so interested in that form he was about to take and start fighting when he took the heart out of our character and killed him. What made him that curious to see what was going to happen, and... If they do exercise this creature and do everything right, does this guy's sister come back? Like, if she is she being manipulated to be bedridden and it's not something of uh, normal things, right? We see the big mat, uh, mark go on her forehead, so clearly it looks like she's being manipulated into being bedridden, so... There's so much craziness happening, and this is the type of show that... If you remember everything, it starts to add up how much experience these kids have compared to any of the other kids we've seen or at least heard about, you know. 
So it kind of hurts the overall standing of the people, like the panda and stuff like that. And of course, the most broken character just happens to be out for a week to make it actually feel intense, right? Like these moments won't feel tense at all if someone could just teleport and handle the situation, which I don't understand why he keeps getting finessed into leaving. <laughs> Maybe this is also part of his plan is to get his students to be strong enough to handle all situations that they come across on their own at times, but I don't know. Regardless, I am your boy, the Anime G, and I appreciate the support. I hope y'all are having an amazing day, night, evening. I gotta get back to work, but I will definitely be talking to you sooner than later. Get on Twitter, Instagram, uh, Anime Amimo. I'm gonna be posting on all those different opinions or... Some are around the same, but with a lot of the pictures and stuff. So if you enjoy seeing what I'm talking about and a picture to showcase it, it's a lot cooler that way too as well. So with that being said, take care. Peace.